Hello, my dear students. Welcome you all for SVK tutorials. In this session, I have taken uh, the topic of uh, complex analysis, uh, module two. In that, I have taken Cauchy's uh, integral formula. It is uh, they are going to ask the pro problem like this: state and prove Cauchy's integral formula. So the statement says that if f of z is analytic inside and on a simple closed curve C, and if a is any point within C, then we require to prove that we require to prove that f of a is equal to one by two pi i, one by two pi i integral over region C f of z by z minus a dz. This is the statement of the theorem. Now uh, we will go with uh, proving that theorem proof. First, uh, consider the pictorial representation of uh, the curve. Whatever we have considering the curve, should consider a simple and closed curve C. This is what a simple curve and which is closed, so that's why it is called as curve C. Inside that curve C, so there is a point called A. There is a point called A. So we we'll consider this point as A. So we'll draw a circle. So I will name this as curve C1, which is a closed curve C1. This point is called as z equal to a. Z equal to a. That is the point called z equal to a. Let now we should give uh, some description here. Let f of z. Let f of z be analytic. Let f of z be analytic. Let f of z be analytic. Inside, 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 and on a closed curve C, and on a closed curve C. Therefore, therefore, the function, therefore, the function f of z by z minus a is also continuous. Is also is also analytic is also analytic everywhere is also analytic everywhere inside inside and on C but except at the point it is not analytic except at the point z equal to e. Z equal to a. So with uh, z equal to a as a center, we have considered a circle with z equal to a as center, as center. Draw, draw a circle, draw a circle with radius r, with radius, with radius, with radius r. Then we define C1 as modulus of Z minus A which is equal to R. This is the representation of a circle. So therefore Z minus A is given by R e power I theta. What is Z minus A? Z minus A is given by R e power I theta. Therefore Z is equal to A plus R e power I theta. So now differentiating on both the side. Uh, with respect to theta, we get dz is equal to r i e power i theta. Since derivative of e power i theta is e power i theta into i d theta, i d theta, where the theta lies between the range of uh, theta is theta lies between zero and zero and two pi, as it is an simple and closed curve uh, C one. So therefore it is a range between 0 to 2 pi. So now by consequences of by applying consequences of Cauchy's theorem by applying consequences of the property by property a property we can write have integral over region C f of z by z minus a dz is equal to Integral over region C1 f of z by z minus a dz. 
Now, as I have defined the range of uh, theta, and uh, you know what is uh, z, so theta ranges from zero to two pi. I am going with the substitution. So f of z is what a plus r e power i theta. This all divided by z minus c. A is what r e power i theta, and d z is what i r e power i theta d theta. So this is what uh, the left hand side. This is what I have defined right hand side. So therefore, which is equal to what the left hand side is integral over region C f of z by z minus a d z. Now by cancellation law we can write uh, cancel r e power i theta and r e power i theta as it is common term. So you are left out with i times of integral theta equal to zero to two pi f of a plus r e power i theta d theta. Now taking taking the limit taking the limits. Taking the limit as r tends to zero, as r tends to zero on both the side, on both the side. So as I am taking uh, limits r tends to zero on both the side. Uh, here there is no term called r, so therefore I am writing directly. If I take uh, as r tends to zero, therefore this value tends to zero. So you are left out with what i into integral theta equal to zero to two pi theta equal to zero to two pi f of a d theta f of a d theta where f of a is a constant function with respect to theta. So therefore, if I integrating with respect to theta, you are left out with f of a into constant uh, integral with respect to theta is theta. The limit theta ranges from zero to two pi. Now substituting the limit, so f of a i times of two pi minus zero, two pi minus zero. So which is nothing but what two pi i into f of a is the required result to prove that integral Cauchy integral formula. That is what integral over region C f of z by z minus a z minus a d z is equal to two pi i into integral two pi i into f of a. This is what Cauchy's integral formula. So you all understood the derivation of uh, Cauchy's integral formula. If you have if you have liked this uh, video, kindly do subscribe to my channel and press like button. Thank you all.